Not gonna lie, I've been watching a lot of YouTube about boat life, and I think that's something that we're going to try in the future. Hey, this trail used to be one of my favorite trails in the park. We'll see if it still is. Ha! Huh? Oh, oh wow, Hannah is flying. That's just kind of messy. Oh shit. The air from that downhill dried my mouth out so much. Let's head back to Drink the Drink some water. I definitely need water. We're pretty much out now though. Like another cool addition we did to the van is actually this Alta angle, or I think it's all angles, alt angles. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is a very exciting week here because we are finally heading to British Columbia. This trip has been on the calendar all year and it's been the one trip that I've been super excited for because we haven't been to Whistler in about three or four years now. It's been a while, really excited to get back up there and then we're gonna go to Squamish, the North Shore, Pemberton. Man, I love riding in British Columbia. It's gonna be insane and it's the best way to end a summer. And I think we're gonna be hitting some cool spots on the way there like Lake Tahoe and a couple of spots in Oregon and Washington. So yeah, the other cool thing is the van build is almost done. We put the last few touches on here. So you guys should have a full van tour coming soon. I know we've been promising that for a while. It's taken a while for sure, but yeah, really excited on how this thing came out. I gotta give credit where credit is due. Mo came up with this idea. Storage was a little bit of an issue. Kind of everything was inside this tray flopping around everywhere. So we actually got this super cheap cheap shoe organizer from Amazon. It actually works really well because it's super tall but narrow. So it doesn't take up too much of the door space. And there's so many access points. So yeah, really excited for this. Another really big upgrade for our van was actually these things right here. These are little cargo nets, I guess, for trucks essentially, but they actually fit perfectly along that side. And the cool thing about these is that they are detachable right here. And so all the stuff that was basically falling over literally every time we went for a drive is actually staying on top of that wheel well, which yeah, huge upgrade right there. We always have our inflatable paddle boards in the van and we actually got an air compressor on board. This is the air compressor hose. And then this is a compressor head with a digital gauge. And in theory with this new adapter that we got, so this is the adapter. In theory, this is gonna inflate it up and we're gonna know when it's at 14 PSI. Yeah. That is just a theory. Probably just watch your eyes just in case it shoots out. Yeah. Some bad experiences so far. Okay. Okay. Moment of truth. This could either be really good or really bad. All right, guys, first board was actually a success. We got it up to 13.5 PSI, which is what we normally have it at. And honestly, didn't take too long, about three or four minutes. It's actually a really cool option to simplify the gear we have on board. So yeah, super stoked on it. Not gonna lie, I've been watching a lot of YouTube about boat life, and I think that's something that we're going to try in the future. The question is how to make it feasible with mountain bike, and I guess you can bring your bikes on the boats. Let's go get some food and then get some bikes. Phew. It's another day here in bright, beautiful, hot Southern California, and we're actually at a trail system we haven't ridden in a long time, but this used to be where Mo and I basically grew up riding and learned to ride mountain bikes. It's Santiago Oaks, and it's probably one of the worst places to ride in the heat, but we were just feeling really nostalgic today and wanted to take you guys on some new trails, so here we are. Another cool addition we did to the van is actually this Alta Angle, or I think it's All Angles, Alt Angles. I'll put a link in the description to this thing as well as a discount. It also helps support the channel, but this thing's super nifty because uh, it allows you to work on your bike almost anywhere, so you can actually connect this thing, whether somewhere on your van or a street pole or maybe some guardrails or something like that. It just gives you the ability to to have a bike stand with you and without bringing a full on bike repair stand because those things are huge and bulky and we were looking for a more simple approach. They reached out, sent this thing over and it's been really awesome. Another thing we're really excited to test out are actually these brand new shoes from Crank Brothers, the mallet trails with the BOA system. These things are insane because I love BOA system. It's just so much simpler than running shoelaces. And I'm also gonna be testing out their mallet enduro pedals. As you guys could tell from a few videos ago, we've just been going back and forth with flat pedals and clipless, testing them out on the mountain bike and trying to get more acquainted with them. And yeah, the Crank Brothers system has been awesome for that. Oh wow, there's a little tool and pump thing here now. 
It definitely is new. So as Hannah mentioned, this is definitely a place we both used to ride a bunch, her a little bit more than me, but we haven't been here for at well, least right a year. Yet. It's gonna be interesting on if we could find our way. We just saw someone sitting down in the shade off the trail, asked him if he was okay. It's so important to do that when it's this hot because you never know when someone's about to pass out. They might just need a little bit of water. Could be us in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah's on the log. Nice, okay. clipped in too. That thing is so flat now. <laughs> Santiago Oaks, welcome. We are here. Woo. Put the trail info in the description, but it's a really cool single track climb to the top. I feel like Oaks has the most single track out of all the parks. Just feel like it all ties really well. I broke my hand right up there. You broke your hand? Yeah. The name of the game is switchbacks. And this is one of the steeper ones. Nice, Hannah. Man, we really got to get out here more often. This is a fun climb. Oh man, we just got to the top. It's so hot, you guys. <sighs> I'm dying. There's no one out here either, which is another indicator that this it's too dope. hot. What should we do? 10 laps? Yeah. Okay. Hey, this is Cactus Trail. This one's supposed to be super flowy from what I remember. Once again, has to be at least a year or two since I've done it. Oh, wow. That's new. I a lot of flowy corners down here. Nice. Wow, shout out to John Curley and the whole team with the trail building because it's the middle of summer. It's actually doing really well. That kicker, that looks like a kicker. What is this? Ooh, drops. Nice. Oh, what is going on? Well, I guess it goes left and right. We really got to get out here more often. I remember a line up here. I could be wrong and I could be falling my desk, but nope, that was right. Nice, kook. We got the bumblebee climb. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm clipped in. Oh, I made it. So this is going to take us to Hawk. So much single track out here. I feel like this is enduro heaven. All right, this trail used to be one of my favorite trails in the park. We'll see if it still is Hawk. Oh, man. Nice, loose, and dusty. Oh, oh wow, Hannah is flying. I, crazy how after all these years, not much has changed. This is almost exactly how I remember it being. This section I remember being a little tricky. I don't remember. Which way do you go? Think this? Boy. Uh, I definitely don't know if that was right. Ooh, definitely more options now. I don't know if that was intended to be that way though. Oh, I'm trying to clip back in. Oh, no, no. Clip in, my, that's the only thing. It's just remembering to unclip and then remembering to clip in. I'm sure it comes with time. It's just so natural on our gravel and road bikes. Boy. Oh, shoot, I almost ate so much crud back there. <laughs> you guys probably didn't see it. The reason I didn't hit that drop was because I definitely got hung up on something back there. That would have been bad. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> I actually almost didn't hit it. And I was like, I think it'll be fine. I just went. <laughs> oh my God. Whew. It's been a while. Everything is so hot. There's I say no shade whatsoever. We go ride the famous downhill and get the, get out of here. Yeah, so we just have one last climb. We do. And it's kind of long. Holy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, how do you feel? Not good. Oh, man. It's like 100 degrees out. Definitely going to start making our way down. I will say, though, these clipless pedals, the Enduros, I don't know if you could even see from there. Love the feel. And then these Boa shoes. Man, I am absolutely loving these things they feel so comfy on i love the bow system i am so exhausted you guys i think i might be close to heat stroke but we just have one more downhill left so we're gonna go ahead and get after it mo's already down the first section Here you go. Nice. Drops. Here you go. that was awesome yeah. I think I do a little bit better in this just because of my, uh, I would say, ethnicity. <laughs> the ethnic background. I think Middle Easterns have a little bit better heat shedding capabilities. <laughs> the breeze does feel really good though. Definitely cooling out my body just a tad. 
jumps, those have been here forever. Here's the drop. Phew! A little bit of a compression hit on that one. Yeah, this is kind of messy. Oh shit. I think, yeah, right there. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, not bad. That used to feel a lot harder. And this is actually where I broke my hand. <laughs> That's bad juju. I love these little rolls. The air from that downhill dried my mouth out so much. Let's head back to Drink the car. Drink some water. Oh, I definitely need water. We're pretty much out now though. Fan question. Did anyone watch the Barbie movie? I almost didn't watch it, but there was so much hype I had to go watch it. Not the best movie. <laughs> It was a little bit boring, but I was just disappointed that they never played any of the Barbie songs like Come on Barbie, let's go party wah, 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 wah. Or what's the other one? I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world Well you guys that ride was insanely hot. Sorry for the abrupt ending in the video uh, Right after that video we went straight to surfing hanging out with friends and also working on the van a little bit more We installed some max tracks on the roof Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next video will be on the road. We're making our way up north. If you guys have any recommendations for places to hit that we haven't hit in the past, let us know in the comment section. So stoked for this road trip. If you guys can hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, not miss out on any of our adventures. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching as always, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Yoo.